Here we are on my desktop, and what we need to do is open a web browser of your choice. To start, we need to look for something called Optify. This helps improve and optimize Minecraft, and it also allows us to add shaders. Next, we'll look for Forge, and with Forge, you'll be able to install Forge mods for Forge. Type Optifine like this, then go to optifine.net. Next, you can go to the top and click on Download. Now, we can choose the version. Personally, I like to take the most recent version. If you already have Forge, make sure to get Optifine for that specific version. It's important to note that you may need to reinstall Forge for Optifine to work as well. You can see the compatible Forge version right here on the right. Here's how to do it. I'm choosing Optifine for version 1.2, 1.4. You'll be redirected to an ad or offer page. Be careful, the button is related to ads. You need to click on the skip button at the top right. Then we can click on download like this. What you need to do is click on back here to return to the Optifine list. Then open a new tab because we need to get Forge. So you can type Forge Minecraft like this and then go to the Forge website. You need to go to the left side and make sure to select the Forge version that matches the Optifine version we downloaded, as well as the other mods. So I chose it for version 1.2, 1.4. I'm going to drag this to the left and make sure that we're getting it for this version 5.4.0.34. So we can go back to Forge, then click on Show All Versions. We can scroll down and find version 5.4.0.34, then click Install on the right. Next, we need to get some shaders. What you can do is type CurseForge like this and go to curseforge.com. Select Minecraft, then click on Browse at the top and scroll down the page. On the left, you can select Shaders, then choose a pack. You can click on them and preview how they look. In this case, I'm going to pick this one. I'll click on it, press File at the top, and then we can download it. I click on the three dots on the right and select Download File, but you can browse and find a pack you like. While I'm at it, I'll also grab a mod to show that it works. So I'll get one for version 1.2, 0.4. This requires Balm, so I'll download that as well. Open your file explorer and go to your downloads. To start, install Forge. Double click on it like this. It should then open. If it doesn't, if nothing happens, or if you end up on Forge, right click on it, then click open with and select Java TM platform SE binary. Then make sure to select install client and press OK. We have now successfully installed it. If it still doesn't work, you may need to do what's called a jar fix, which reconnects the jar files. Open the Minecraft launcher. At the top, you can click on Installations, scroll down, and we need to find Forge. Hover over it and press the Open Installation Folder button. Here, you can scroll down and find the Mods folder. If you have mods for older versions here, make sure to remove them. Next, we can go to our downloads and start dragging in what we've downloaded. So I have Optifine, and then I grab the mods, like this. We can then close this window, go back to the launcher, and click Play. If I press mods, you can see the mods here. So if I open my inventory, we can use the arrows to see that I've installed Waystones. If I pause the game, click on options, then video settings, and finally shaders. You need to click on shaders folder, then we can drag the shader pack inside, like this. I can replace it, since I've already installed them. You can then double click on the pack. Minecraft will then reload, and the shaders will now be enabled. As you can see, it's absolutely amazing.